let's talk about art styles for a little while because I mean it's a thing. <laughs> it, it definitely is a thing, especially when you're just starting out. I think that's when you're most concerned about this whole finding your art style problem. <laughs> I think most artists, we ask ourselves that at some point, like what is my style? Do I have a style? How do I find my style? I thought a lot about that when I started my art journey a few years ago. I watched all of the find your art style videos on YouTube and I saw it almost as this problem that I needed to solve or like something to check off my to-do list. <laughs> I needed to have a style or I wasn't a real artist. And for some reason, I was in a hurry about it too. But the problem was that I hadn't spent much time at all making art. I'd only done it for like a few months. And so I had no idea in what direction to go. Should I commit to watercolor or should I try oils instead? Should I maybe do more digital art? Was I a landscape person or a portrait person or maybe a florals person? <laughs> so many questions. Overwhelming, frustrating, exhausting. I ended up just trying a bunch of different art mediums. I tried oils, gouache, acrylics, ink, charcoal, and I noticed that my style was quite different in each one and that made me even more confused because I didn't know which one I preferred. But I kept experimenting and I started gravitating towards certain mediums like watercolors and charcoal because I just I enjoyed them the most. I still had no idea what my thing was, my preferred subject, so I tried painting everything that vaguely interested me. I took classes, I watched tutorials, I found some things that I hated painting, like figures and vehicles and architecture, and other things that I loved painting, like landscapes and portraits and animals. And birds. I especially loved painting birds because I've always had an obsession with birds. They just inspire me. I see a bird and I want to paint it. It's like an itch. And pretty soon the only thing that I really wanted to paint was birds, which I kind of fought against at first because I thought I was supposed to be a more well-rounded artist and be able to paint a bunch of different stuff. But then I realized that this is what artists do. They have obsessions. They have themes and subjects that they come back to again and again. And that is what sets them apart. That's how they have developed their style, by embracing their obsessions. So I embraced my obsession with birds. I painted them and I painted them and I painted them and I still haven't grown tired of it. I also very much love drawing portraits, especially in charcoal, which is another one of my obsessions. Have I found my style yet? I don't know. Can you ever determine that for yourself? How do you even know when you have a style? And frankly, I don't care about it. I don't care if I have a style or not. I crave variety and challenge in my art practice. I want to keep exploring and learning. I would get bored without it. There are so many mediums and tools to try and so many techniques and subjects. And even if you paint for a whole lifetime, there's always going to be room for improvement and for exploration. I've found that the more that I allow myself to remain open and try other things, the more I enjoy going back to my watercolor birds or my charcoal portraits. That doesn't mean that I only want to do that for the rest of my life. An art style is not a static thing. It's not a destination. I mean, look at some of your favorite artists. They likely work in several different mediums. They likely have more than one obsession or favorite subject. Their style has most likely changed and evolved a lot throughout their lifetime. That's how it works and it will be the same for you. Your style will change and it will evolve with you, which makes it even weirder to try to figure it out beforehand or try to control it. So my advice to you dear artist friend who's just starting out or are concerned that you haven't developed a style yet, stop. Just stop trying to find your style. Do the opposite. Try everything. Do everything. Follow every whim and every inspiration. Start collecting art that inspires you. Create Pinterest boards with it. Follow a bunch of artists on Instagram. Imitate them. Do master studies. Get obsessed and deepen your obsession, build your skills, and I promise you that you will develop a style. It will just happen naturally in the background. You don't have to work 
towards it, it's just gonna sneak up on you. If you're anything like me, you sometimes gaze longingly at other artists, those who are disgustingly talented and clearly have a unique and easily recognizable style, and there are way too many of them out there. And we see all of these artists and we think to ourselves, oh, how pleasurable that must be, you know, <laughs> to create on that level, to be that unique. But guess what? They're not necessarily having it easier or having more fun than you and me. Because nothing magical happens just because you have an original art style. It's still going to be difficult to build a following and sell your work. It's still going to be hard to build a career as an artist. And artists with a personal style, they face the same challenges as other artists. They still have to work hard. And in some ways, having a unique and recognizable art style, it might even be a negative thing sometimes. It's like typecasting for actors. You get known for one thing and after a while it's all people want from you and it gets increasingly difficult to wander outside of that box and that can feel very constricting and could easily take the joy out of painting it would for me at least and having a style it doesn't change anything painting is not inherently more fun or fulfilling than it was before painting is still painting and painting is fun with or without a style so the too long didn't watch version of this video is don't try to think your way to a personal and unique art style. This isn't some equation that you need to solve. It's a journey and it's a process and the best way to fast track that process if you're in a hurry <laughs> is to just experiment as much as you can to remain open and not to try to box yourself in, especially not if you're just starting out. Don't try to find your art style. Just let it find you instead. Those are my two cents about that. And if you want more inspiration from me, I have a free monthly email list. They're called my studio letters where I share some personal updates and links and tips and exercises to make your creative journey easier and less lonely. There's a link in the description if you want to join. As always, thank you so much for being here and for watching and listening. And I hope you had a good time and maybe I'll see you in another video.